tonight on The Profit. I'm gonna just tell you that cornbread is legit. At a packaged food business known for its flavorful mixes. We have flavors like berry cobbler, bourbon salted pecan. The owner has bitten off more than she can chew. If you're not capable of running the business and making it successful. Who says I'm not capable of running the business? She spent way too much money. She's been running the business for five years, and the profitability is close to zero. Now, colossal debts have clogged her cash flow. How much debt do you have? It's probably about half a million. Shoot, half a million dollars. Bringing her business and her family to the brink. Why should I share information with him if he doesn't share information Ask with me? Ask him. If I can't get her to understand that she cannot do it all on her own. I just love cooking in my own without people telling me how to do it, what to do. Southern culture will be cooked. Honestly, that's up. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm Marcus. Hi, Marcus. How are you? I'm good. I came to find out what the story is. Okay. Is Erica here? Erica's here. Awesome. Can I meet her? Absolutely. Come on. Great. How are you? Good, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. America. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, man. Welcome to Southern Culture. This is it. You want to take a tour now? I want, want a to tour. Talk? I want to know what happens. OK. So this is the warehouse. Wow. That's a lot of products. Yes. The first one is our pancake and waffle mix. OK. So we have flavors like berry cobbler, bourbon salted pecan, vanilla, sweet potato, gingerbread. We have a product called Bacon Room. It okay. is a seasoning blend for bacon and fried chicken mix. We have spicy and original. Okay. There doesn't seem to be as much thought as there could be in terms of streamlining and organizing their lineup. I kind of scratch my head and wonder, are they a Southern food company? Are they a breakfast company? I don't really know what it is. Can I taste the product? Yeah, I can make it. And I'm going to make it with you. All right, absolutely. Hey, Andre. Hey, how you doing? How you? That's my husband, Andre, Andre Marcus. I'm Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're here to help us? Yeah, sure. Yeah, every once in a while, I come and help out. <laughs> He's been here like three times. She's been running the business for five years, and the profitability is close to zero. And it's not ran efficiently. And the margins are slim. I used to do this full time, so I know for a fact this oh, like too much. How many, how many I did. years ago? Part time. Well, I did it almost full time. You know when you're going to buy something big? and this guy comes in and he's like the closer, the one that reinforces everything that's happened. Andre would be like the opposite of the closer. He's the guy basically saying, and I know you think this is a great idea, but let me just tell you, this is a really bad idea. And the business is really screwed up. Look, it's clear to me that you have a particular perspective on the situation. Mm -hmm. Let's so... you and I go talk by ourselves. Okay. So you have a real career that you enjoy? Yeah, yeah. And that's process. That, this was more for Erica. Like, initially, I was the one who started to do most of the sales. And if I'm not seeing profitability, then I'm going to lose interest. I mean, let's be honest. I feel like I've always supported his dreams. I just want the same type of support and respect. I mean, he knows sometimes when I need money for payroll, and he's helped me out. He does have a heart. He's like, OK, I'll give it to you. It sounds to me like when push came to shove, he was there for you. Absolutely. I love him a lot. You have a beautiful marriage. You cannot let the business come in between it. Yeah. No matter what. What I'd like to do, actually, is meet at the table, and I want to go over the financials. OK. OK? So here's a summary of the financials. Over the course of five years, you basically broke even. Lost a couple years, made a couple years. How much debt do you have? It's probably about half a million. Shoot, half a million dollars. The reason I want to take a shot on you, Erica, is because a couple of the products you've created yeah. have real appeal. The problem here is that this business looks like it's dead on arrival. Because of this debt mess, I'm willing to invest $75,000 to find co-packers, get the new packaging put together, yeah. and bring products to market. If you can prove to me that you could have financial discipline and the inventory, the assets, all get sold off, and every debt gets paid down, paid off, or a payment plan is put in place. So that is my offer. But I need to know if we have a deal. Marcus, you have a deal. OK. A check cannot be cashed until both of us agree that these things have been done. OK. OK? I'm up for the challenge. OK. We have a deal? We have a deal. Absolutely. We have a deal? Yep, absolutely. Erica told me that she sold her products at Kroger, 
And so in order for me to understand what the issues are, I wanted to go to Kroger and actually see it on the shelf, see what its competition is, and see where the real opportunity is. Are you a breakfast company or are you I a southern? I started out as a breakfast company. That was my initial vision when I started the company. Okay, I don't think you're a breakfast company if you have fried chicken in the mix. Yeah. You're a southern inspired foods company. Yeah. Can you buy off on that? I can. Okay, great. I want to have 12 SKUs in the lineup. Okay. Something that actually can make a full set with a story behind it, where whether you like breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it may be, there are Southern-inspired recipes. Mm -hmm. If you're as good of a chef as you say you are, mm -hmm. and you understand Southern foods as good as you say you I do, do, I want to see them develop, and I want to taste them. OK. OK? I can do it. We're laser-focused on liquidating assets to pay off Erica's debts. I need you to be enthusiastic, like you're selling to save your business. The first step is to get the word out. So we're creating a Facebook Live video. We have an awesome deal, 25% off of all of these great products on our website. We need to start ringing the till. I want to see orders when I come back on Tuesday. OK. In addition, Erica's working hard to turn the stuff from the storage container into cash. It's only been a few days, and the orders are pouring in from the Facebook Live video. We've sold about $12,000 worth of inventory online in about two days. And she's working hard to negotiate and settle her past debts. OK, um, what, $25,000 work? Would that be paid by the end of September? Yes, I can yes. get it done by the end of September. I would love to do that for a year ago. So far, she's negotiated over $150,000 off on her debt, and she's generated over $20,000 by selling merchandise. All right, awesome. In order for Erica to grow her business, she's going to have to find a partner that can help her scale up to really do volume in a way that's efficient with precision. So I brought her to Pelican Bay. There's a lot of stuff being packed here. How many square feet is the facility? 35,000. How much can you mix in a day? On a single ship, 20, 1,000 pounds. 21,000 pounds? Yep. Okay. It would take us about two weeks to do what you guys do in a day. Yeah. OK. If this company is going to make money, I need to sell 100 pallets, not 100 boxes. Now we're able to put actual dollars into growing our inventory. But in the meantime, Erica has to put the finishing touches on all the recipes. Meanwhile, she's been working with Jim at Pelican Bay to finalize all of the packaging. I just want to walk you through what we've been working on for all of the products. We wanted a place where people can be inspired. The new designs look great. I had a chance to chat with the folks at Pelican Bay. How are you working with them? They've been very helpful. I'm impressed that she was able to tap into what Pelican Bay had to offer. That willingness to collaborate is exactly what is necessary for this business and her to go to the next level. There's an innovative website for foodies, mouth.com. Uh -huh. They put all kinds of cutting edge products out there. So we're going to go meet the buyers at mouth.com. Okay. But they have to get behind the product. OK, we're making awesome. progress. Awesome. Yes, we are. This progress. is awesome. Good morning. Good morning. morning. What's Andre doing here? <laughs> well, I came out to support my wife and to help out with this uh, project. OK. Aren't you I sweet? Like that. In this particular case, whether Andre likes the business or he doesn't like the business, what I really wanted him to do is show support for his wife. And that's what he did. All right, let's head in. I'm Marcus. Marcus, Kate Harper, very nice to meet you. Sam. Sam Marcus. Sam Marcus. These are my partners. Well, first of all, welcome to Brooklyn and welcome to Mouth. We're th excited to go through the whole thing. Mouth.com is a huge food subscription business. And I think if they like the product, well, it's a pretty good indication of what the whole marketplace is going to think. So based on what you, you've seen and you heard here today and you tasted our products, will you be willing to move forward with our company? I think there's definitely an opportunity to explore. It's a privilege for us to meet you guys. Oh, and thank you. And thank you. hopefully we can work together. Yeah, thank absolutely. you guys. Thanks for and coming. Thank you for having us. Congratulations. Thank, thank you so much. Really thank you so much. You thank you. Take care. Talk soon. Mm -hmm. Well, now I'm dancing. Throughout this process, Erica has done everything I've asked her to do. Since being at Mouth.com, she's gone back into Kroger and gotten an expanded category on all their shelves. In addition to that, she's in the final discussions with Walmart to get into a number of their stores. It wouldn't surprise me if this business did over a million dollars in the next 12 months. How did it go? So they're interested in... Putting um, all the products on. Yeah. I'm definitely proud of them. Well, that means a lot. 
<laughs> you put a smile on my face. You want to talk about progress? I give the credit to Erica and Mama. <laughs> that means a lot. <laughs> I'm going to join you guys. Oh. <laughs>